it's a challenge to make a clock as accurate as possible. Precise timekeeping is important. We like to know exactly when something happens and how fast things are. But when are we happy? When is a clock precise enough? Optical atomic clocks are the most precise clocks that exist. If we had started such a clock when the universe came into existence, it would only go wrong by less than a second today. With that accuracy, we could measure the duration of a car race with an error of only 10 to the minus 14 seconds. In the IQ clock labs, new optical atomic clocks are being developed, but not for use on the racetrack. At telecom company BT, precise clocks are needed for a very different reason, for reliable communication networks. Atomic clocks developed in the labs are highly accurate and stable over a given period. The data packets sent across the network might get corrupted or lost if the nodes are not synchronized to phase or frequency. So I2 has proposed several standards to limit these differences which fall in a nanosecond range. In case of high-speed mobile networks like in 5G, these accuracy requirements can only be met with atomic clocks. Many other networks rely on very precise clocks as well, such as the Global Positioning System, GPS. Its accuracy depends on how accurately we can measure time. My role in IQ Clock project will be to evaluate the performance of atomic clock developed in the laboratory in a pre-existing telecom infrastructure. The clock will be connected to a model network and evaluated for the maximum achievable synchronization accuracy. Lakshmi's goal is to use atomic clocks to improve telecommunication. But it is not just technology that requires good clocks. Scientists are interested in extremely precise timekeeping as well. For example, did you know that time runs slightly faster when there is less gravity, like on top of a mountain? This is one of the results of Einstein's general theory of relativity, and something we can measure with precise clocks. With optical atomic clocks, we can measure this effect when we lift a clock by a few centimeters. The clocks can even measure gravity effects from things happening underground, like volcanic activity. Timekeeping is interesting from a scientific point of view. It also helps to study and forecast the climatic changes. Banks require accurate time to timestamp the transactions. Meteorologists need accurate time to forecast weather and different applications emerge every day. Precise clocks can even help us study the universe. When black holes collide, they send gravitational waves towards the Earth. When we can accurately measure when these waves arrive at several places on Earth, we also know where they came from. Now we know that there are many reasons to build precise clocks. But how do you make clocks that are that precise? Watch the next videos to find out.